Hey guys, I'm doing a vlog. This is very new to me. This is very new to me. I'm not in my territory. I love to, you know, just sit down and do makeup videos, but a lot of you guys have been like, we want to see more of you. We want to see more vlogs. We want to just see a little bit of you. So I thought I would actually do kind of like a little vlog. I do want to do more vlogs of like actually going out in London. I live in London and show you guys a little bit of what I do outside really and just take you along with me shopping or like eating out things like that but for the first kind of vlog I wanted to keep it at this which is just chilling with me for a little bit at home going through maybe my makeup cleaning a little bit organizing just literally chilling like it just being a chill vlog and not being so serious as to making everything look perfect basically but do bear with me because i'm not used to holding the tripod and vlogging and also um yeah this camera quality i don't know if it's that good i feel like it's just washing me out a little bit it is the sony a5000 that i'm using to vlog with and yeah, it's not going to be the best quality, but yeah, just wanted to point that out as well. I did just film this look, and this is probably already up as well already, and it is my full face of first impressions. And I just put my hair down, it is straight today, well, straight-ish, and I'm just wearing a little sweater. This one says Michigan, it's from Misguided. It's a really beautiful kind of like lavender shade, which I feel like is just my colour when it comes to clothing now. I'm really digging lavender clothing. So right behind me is... My makeup storage this is the ikea pack system that you guys saw i built and yeah let me just turn around and show you guys what it looks like so i guess i'll show you a little bit of my filming room as well yes it looks like a mess and that is the reality basically so this is the you know the pack system i do have two ikea shelves on this side and with this one i do feel like i want to add another shelf right up here which I bought um, because I do feel like these two right here, it's just a little, just it looks too empty. I feel like it needs another shelf up there. So I will be adding that and seeing what that looks like. I also have this Hollywood mirror that I picked up recently. This is like a complete mess at the moment. I definitely need to clean. So that's what we're going to be doing today and just chilling. And I have my laptop with me. This is where I can see what I'm filming. I'm looking at flights. Can you imagine? I'm looking at flights to New York, basically. A little pricey. A little pricey for October. So basically, I'm looking at flights and hotels to New York for this October, which is funny because UK citizens aren't actually allowed to fly to the US unless it's like work related or emergencies or you have family there. But to actually visit, um, we're not allowed. And so I'm just keeping an eye on it, but if they open it up, the borders and stuff to us by October, then I will go finally on holiday and finally back to the US because it is, it is just very dear to me, that country. And I just, I can't wait to do shopping over there. That's what I love to do. Go to Ulta, go to Sephora, just buy makeup. And I know you guys probably think, is that all she does? Like just makeup. Yes, my, my life is makeup pretty much but i do love other things as well i love to eat and i love bath and body works over there as well but speaking of eating like i love the food over there and my go-to if you guys have been to the us or if you live there my go-to is chick-fil-a it is the best thing ever it is it is the best i love chick-fil-a i also tried wendy's once and that was pretty good too so i definitely want to try like more fast food places over there i definitely am a junk food kind of person enough talk about food and holidays and that kind of stuff let's just clean up a little bit i have all this mess right here in front of me that i need to tidy up i also have some makeup that i need to put back so we can go through my drawers put them back as well let me show you guys what i picked up from mac so i only picked up one thing from mac so i did pick up a lipstick from mac this one is in Yash, and I've been dying to get this shade for the longest time. I don't know why, I just, yeah, I've always wanted to get this shade. I tried it on once, and I fell in love with it, so I cannot wait to play with this. It looks a little more orange on camera, but it's a lot more kind of browny, pinky taupe, I want to say. I don't know, I don't know how to describe it really, but I'm very excited to 
play around with this and add to my Mac collection. So I guess I'll just throw that away and take you over to the Mac lipsticks and just pop it in if I have space somewhere. I don't know if I have space actually. I don't have space so it's going to have to go in my actual lipstick drawer. I'm just going to slot it into any little slot back here. And then we have P. Louise. So look at what I picked up from P. Louise. This was on sale for £50, which I thought was such a good deal. And that is their entire eye base collection. I thought it was such a deal. And I think you get 14 or 13 shades. This one is called Cute in Coral. Add a black, which is like their standard black eye base. Green with Envy. This one is Summer Blues. This one is Banging Blue. Pretty in Pink. OTT Orange. Yummy Yellow, which I actually have, so I'll have to save this one for a giveaway. Pretentious Peach. This one is Winter Rose, which is a really pretty baby pink. Touch of Frost, which I cannot wait to use in winter. It's like a nice icy blue. And last but not least, Vivid Violet, which literally matches my top that is all of the bases which i just i cannot wait i cannot wait to play with i will leave it linked down below and definitely check it out and definitely purchase it because i think you can't get a better deal than that on these eye bases so now let's put some makeup away so i do have um just makeup that i'm going to be putting away this is the l'oreal the new l'oreal foundation this foundation drawer is such a mess i need to pull some of these forward For my primer and setting spray drawer, I mean this is like a mess as well. So I just need to need to pull some of these forward. Do they still make this? This is the Ulta Beauty Dewy Makeup Setting Spray. I don't think they do. I have the Morphe spray right here. And then the iconic London spray. I have my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray pack that I picked up. Just going to be putting those away as well and I'll throw the box away. I love to keep boxes. Let me know if you guys are the same, but um, it's just too big. So I'm just going to put these down. Fray Watermelon Face Milk. I use this in my last video. I absolutely love this. I'm just going to slot it in right there. This skincare organizer is one of my favorites. It's from Amazon. And yeah, I'll leave it down below as well. It's such a great find. And it holds so much of your skincare. I have my Clinique moisturizer, which I absolutely love. The Moisture Surge. So I'm going to put that away. I always use this before doing my makeup on most days. So I need to find a little slot right here. And I have some other skincare products laying around, which I need to put away. This is my favorite eye makeup remover ever. This is the Nivea Double Effect Eye Makeup Remover. So I have two there. I also have this, which is my favorite cleanser. This is the La Roche-Posay um, Hydrating Cleanser. So I like to put it there. And this lip balm has been my favorite. It's the Frudia, I think it's like the Honey honey Mango um, lip balm, I believe. And that goes there. Isn't it so convenient to just have all of it in one place right there? And then I have my little cotton pads here as well. Got my Illamasqua foundation, my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London, which I picked up. I'll put that away. I'm going to throw this box away. Sample Beauty Eye Base as well. And then we have the MAC Indian Wood Paint Pot, which I'm going to put away as well. So my NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams don't actually go in here. They go in this one right here. This huge display of lipsticks. And as you can see, all my NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams are here. So I'll have to organize this another time, but I'm going to add London, which is the newest shade that I picked up. 
recently to add to my collection. I'm just gonna keep it back there. The eye bases, the MAC Indian wood will go here. So I'm just gonna pull these forward. And Indian wood goes there. And then we have Sample Beauty, which can just slot right there. These two mascaras are my favorites. We have NYX blush. I'm gonna throw away the packaging. My blush and bronzer drawer has so much space. So I'm just gonna put away the ones that I took to film with. So my Milani goes there. And then we have, this is the bronzer section. This is the highlight section. My Heaven's Hue highlighter goes there. Oh my God, the ice cream truck is outside. Can you guys hear my dog barking? I'm gonna slot it into this one right here. I also have these two products from Catkin, which they kindly sent me, which I'm gonna put in here. This is their highlighter, and that can go right there. I did show these products and this brand in my Get Ready With Me uh, bronze summer makeup, so you guys can see that there. That will go there as well. I have some other makeup that I need to put away. This is the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow Blush which I cannot wait to try one of these days. It's like the popular pink blush that everyone's talking about. This is the Elf Putty Bronzer, which I need to throw away the packaging. So this is the Putty Bronzer and all my cream and liquid bronzers are right at the back. So this can just go there. And then I also have this highlighter as well that I recently picked up, the Essence Highlighter, which is like a nice pale gold. This is in the shade Mesmerizing. And I'm just gonna slot that right there. My MAC mascaras I just like to keep back there. Essence, I'll just slot that back there. I don't really have like a specific order anyway. And then this is the Catkin mascara. Sorry, it's washing it out. I'm just gonna slot that in there as well, still in the box because I still need to give it another test. If not, I'll give it to my mum. And then we have the Elf Big Mood mascara, which um, I liked. And I'm just gonna take out the packaging and put away as well. This one can go right here. And I think now I'm just gonna go downstairs and see my dog because he's getting really like anxious. This is Eddie. He's a French bulldog. He's black and white. He is honestly the best thing that has happened to me. Look at him holding on. Okay, so I'm in my kitchen. I couldn't show my dog. Um, I'm just gonna have a little bit of a snack because I didn't even do anything and I already feel like I need to eat. Do, do you guys get like that where you feel like you've got a lot to do and then after like five, 10 minutes, you take a break to just go and eat and relax? That's how I am. I am a very lazy person, um, although kind of productive. It's kind of weird, but like I get stuff done, but I'm still lazy sometimes. So I'm just gonna have a little bit of a snack. This has been my favorite snack. Don't judge. This one right here. This is the Flips Cookies and Cream Pretzels. And I have a very big sweet tooth. I am big on sweet stuff. So yeah, I've been loving these. I've tried every single flavor that I can think of of Flips Pretzels. I love pretzels, but chocolate covered pretzels, give it all to me. Um, I think there's the birthday cake flavor, which I haven't tried yet, but this is what they look like. They don't really taste like cookies and cream, but... Mm. Mm. So good. It's almost finished. Leave a comment down below, what is your favorite snack? What do you guys love to snack on? Mm. I'll tell you what else I've been loving as well. Another snack. Don't sleep on these. These are the Cadbury Dairy Milk Caramel Cake Slices. Cake Slices. Um, again, I just love anything sweet. So, I mean, yeah, so good. It is basically like a little cake. It's not very caramelly, caramelly, but the chocolate little chunks in it make it so good. Mm. I 
have a question. Would you guys ever want to see muk mukbangs? Mukbangs? If you know what they are. I watch them. I feel guilty for watching them. It's kind of a weird thing to watch on YouTube, but I really like them. Um, it's basically just sitting, people sitting down and eating food and people watching them. It's like a whole community on YouTube. I'm not saying my channel is going to turn into that, but like the odd one or two mukbang. Like chatting with you guys and eating some food. If you like a video like that, I could do that. So, seems kind of fun. I'm going to go back to cleaning a little bit. And then after that, I'm going to go and make a cup of tea and watch Dexter. Please do not tell me anything about Dexter if you've seen that show. I am slowly becoming obsessed with it. I just started it. Well, I didn't just start it. I'm on season four at the moment. So I'm going to be watching Dexter a little bit later. I've been binging it like more than I should. I think I watch maybe five or six a day, which is a little too much. I think I've got more stuff to do than just sit down and watch Dexter. So let me know what other TV shows that you guys love and watch. I'm always looking for recommendations. I've seen a lot of TV shows. That is enough of my little break. I just had a little bit of a pick me up with some sugar in my body. So now, uh, actually, let me go and grab my dog because you guys barely saw him. Let me go and grab him. I'll introduce you to my dog. Isn't he the cutest little thing? Oh my God. Eddie. Eddie, look. Say bye to Eddie. Say bye. Say bye. So back to cleaning. I'm just going to kind of speed through this. actually have some palettes that I need to put away as well so yeah this part is really tricky because I have so many palettes in this drawer which is getting heavier and also I don't really know how to store it in this drawer so if you guys have any ideas of how I could store my palettes it doesn't have to be that I can see all of them because it's just that's not possible I mean I could stack them like this um, in the drawer but the only problem is it's going to keep falling unless I find like a palette holder kind of situation but uh, for now I'm just going to literally put them all away like this on top of each other and just kind of scavenge through them whenever I need to actually find a palette that I need to use so I already got this dirty I literally just picked it up but this is the stone cold fox palette I'm just going to put that away and then I have some other ones here which I need to put away as well so let's put these back. The Colourpop Lyric palette, I'm just going to slot that in there. Colourpop Cherry Crush, slot that in there. This is the Lorac Pro palette Soleil. The Catkin Autumn Moonlight Asher palette, this is great for autumn. And then the Morphe 3503 Fist by Nature, which I need to play with as well. That can just go. Let's move this here. All my Morphe palettes are there. Put that there and then that there. I forgot two more palettes. The Maybelline City Mini Eyeshadow Palette. This is like a bronze eyeshadow palette. If my camera would focus, there we go. That just slot there. And then this one I'm excited to play with in a video, maybe in a shop my stash or something. This is the BH Cosmetics Trendy in Tokyo eyeshadow palette, which is a nice colourful palette that can go there as well. This is a lip balm, so technically it shouldn't go in the lipstick section, but I feel like it is kind of like a lip prep, glossy, it's like a glossy product. It does leave me with a lip gloss kind of finish. So I'm just going to slot that there for now, or maybe I'll slot it there for now. Um, and then we have the e.l.f. liquid glitter shadow which I need to put away as well. 
This is in the shade Ocean Eyes. I'm going to take it out of the packaging and just slot it in there. I definitely want to collect all of them and then have this little section be all elf. This can join the family. And then this is the Steeler ones right here. And this is a mixture of MAC, Barry M, Huda Beauty. So that's that. I wanted to unbox this. A company sent me this, which is from the brand The Flat Lay Co. And I want to open it up and see what it is. I think it's a makeup bag. They sent this a while back and I'm only getting around to opening it. So... You, the flat lay co london so it's a makeup bag that actually opens up as like a circle and then you can lay it out flat i'm assuming and then yeah i i don't know let's see so this is in sage green velvet which they did ask me which one i wanted and i did pick the green they had a pink as well but i wanted to go for the green oh this feels so good already so it is, okay, I'm confused. How cool is that? So it has these little like slots that you can put eyeliner in, mascara. It has more slots here. It has zippers which you can put makeup in. So you'll put all your makeup in here and then you'll actually zip up. How do I zip this up? Okay, so you'll literally pull on this string and it closes the bag i believe something like that i'll have to figure it out but it closes the bag so then it's just a little makeup bag you'll put it in your luggage when traveling or wherever you're going and then when you're ready you'll just open it up and then all your makeup will be laid out flat so you can see everything how genius is that that is so cool i will leave a link down below um for you guys to check them out they have so many different patterns and shades and it feels so good the velvet one i definitely would recommend to get the velvet but yeah i just wanted to unbox this with you guys it even has a pocket right here oh cool so again the company is the flat lay co for like travel makeup bags this is kind of cool i like it a lot thank you flat lay we've got the kettle boiling my mug i had to match i hope you guys can hear me i had to match this is a beautiful lilac mug to match Yorkshire tea is the best tea so that's that also everyone does tea different I like to put mine all the way to the top I like to let my tea bag just sink in seep in for a few minutes and then I like to really squeeze it out, throw it away and then add my milk. And then if it goes too much to the top, I'll just pour some out in the sink. So I'm just going to let this seep in a little bit. I think I've just made the perfect cup of tea. I have my tea, so I'm going to be drinking this. Oh, look at me looking all aesthetic. A little too sweet, but I don't mind. Mm. So good. So, yeah, I'm just going to end the vlog in a minute. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really sorry if it was boring. Like I said, I just wanted it to literally be a chill with me kind of vlog. Not taking it seriously and not doing much. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm watching Dexter got my cup of tea i'm gonna let you guys go now i hope you guys are all staying safe and until next time i'll speak to you guys and see you guys all in my next video